Hey guys, this is Electro Bizarre and today I'm gonna show you how you can repair your broken earphone at home. This video is consist of three parts. First, detecting the problem. Second, jack replacement or jack repairing. Third, soldering of the jack. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here I have earphone whose both earpieces do not work. So I have decided to cut it near the 3.5 jack. So to check the wires which is coming from 3.5 jack is continuous or not. You can use cutter or scissor whichever you have. So the lead has 6 wires, blue with stripes, blue, green, green with stripes, red and brown. So now let's check the continuity of the wires to the pins of 3.5 jack. But the wire has enamel coating on it. So we have to first burn the coating of enamel. And now you can use a sharp blade to scratch the surface of the wire. So now the inner copper comes out and we are ready to check the continuity. So for continuity testing, use a multimeter or any continuity tester. If you are using multimeter, then you need to select the continuity point which is shown as a buzzer. So when the wire is continuous, the buzzer in the multimeter beeps. So I have figured out that the blue and green wire is not connected to the points and blue with stripes, green with stripes and brown are ground and red is for mic. So what I am going to do is, is using the old 3.5 jack and use it with the lid. So on the top of the jack there is a rubber coating which you can easily remove by any sharp blade. Inside the rubber coating there is a hard plastic coating also. So you need to cut it using cutter. Be gentle while removing the plastic coating. You can damage your 3.5 jack. So now we have to connect the rest part of the lid to the 3.5 jack. Repeat the previous procedure to clean the surface of the wires. So now I know the blue with stripes, green with stripes and brown color lead is brown. So I have just shorted all of them. So now we have brown which is ground, red which is mic, green which is left channel, blue which is right channel.
the 3.5 jack has four points. First is left channel, second is right channel, third is ground and fourth is mic. So now we are doing the process of pinning. Pinning is nothing but a process in which we pre-solder point of contacts. Process is called pinning because the solder is made of tin. So we have just applying a surface of tin on the point of contacts. Be careful while soldering. You can damage the 3.5 jack. So as you can see that we have applied the layer of tin on the all four points of the contact. Now apply flux to the wires and repeat the same process as we have done on the 3.5 jack. Tinning process is basically used to increase the efficiency of the contact points and it makes the process of soldering easy. After soldering all four points, I have applied a layer of enamel. You can use any nail polish, acrylic color or anything else which has insulating property. After that, I have applied glue from glue gun and secure the 3.5 jack with a heat shrinking sleeve. So that's enough for today's video. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to our channel, then Press the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon.